I'm making this video to reach out for help. I am currently being set up by a bunch of internet trolls and the Akron Police Department. I need outside help because my public defender is not a good defender at all. Um, I have video evidence that he is refusing to look at. Um, long story short what happened about three and a half weeks ago an internet troll by the name of aware of myself whose real name is joseph lawson came to my house and cited a riot on my property he gathered up eight of my neighbors from down the street brought them here and incited a riot on our property my family told him to leave several times. He would not leave. <clears throat> but he would not leave at all. Um, so I went out there with a baseball bat and I gave him a fair warning to leave our property or I would swing that bat at him. Because here in Ohio we have what's called castle laws and standard ground laws. And when he would not leave our property, I was exercising those rights. Because he was putting our family in danger. At that point in time. He had our neighbors getting in our faces. He was getting in our faces. He was getting in my face. This man literally walked up to our door, knocked on our door, and trespassed onto our property. The cops were called frantically to try to get him away from our property. He would not leave. When I swung the baseball bat at this man to get him off our property, he caught the baseball bat with his hand and stepped onto public property. When the police arrived, they questioned him. They said something to him. Like, asked him what was going on. This man only gave his name, his first and last name, but that's it. This man did not give them any more info. He only gave his first and last name. This man showed up to my house with his whole face covered. Like, he was wearing, like, almost like what you would call, like, almost like a Taliban mask or a ninja mask of some sort. This man, prior to him showing up, made threats about coming here to my family and doing harm to me. This is the same man that a few months prior shot a bullet through my window and tried to kill me while I was on a live stream. The police came out here the next day and did not do anything about it after I was shot at. They refused to take the bullet out, and they refused to do anything about it. A couple months later, I was assaulted by a man by the name of Nicholas Beagler, a.k.a. Music Biz Marty, on YouTube. And they still did nothing about it. My nose was busted from here down. To where I, it wasn't broken, but like, it was bloodied up. I had a large cut right here, and my nose was just gushing blood for hours. They still did nothing. And they did the same thing with this man. After this man harassed my family, I tried to show the cops, as I tried to show the police, that this man was making evidence when, you know, he had evidence that, he, well, not him, but I had evidence that he was planning on showing up here to do harm to me and my family. They arrested me and hauled me off to jail and refused to see the evidence that I had. They refused to see the evidence 
that I had. I got arrested and charged with simple assault. And as a result, I had to go to court yesterday. And I found out that if convicted, I could be facing up to 180 days in jail. Because of this man. The police here are very corrupt. They really are. And I need anyone's help that can please step up and help me put a stop to this corruption as I am being set up. The police here labeled me as a 43. They labeled my mom as a 43. Which here means mentally disturbed. Um, the cops here were very quick to arrest me. And this has been going on for almost five plus years. This is not a joke. This is not a game. This is not me pulling some sort of prank because I supposedly hate cops. No. This is very real. The cops here are corrupt. I have been bullied and cyber bullied for over the last five and a half years. Every time we call the police to ask for help, they don't do anything. They give us the runaround. They give me and my family the runaround of, oh, there's nothing we can do. Stay off the internet. Get off the internet. Get off the internet. Oh, change your phone numbers. Do this, do that. But none of that does any good. These people that have been bullying me and my family and harassing us have stolen stuff from our property. These people have done things such as, like I said, stealing stuff from our property. They tore down our back fencing, which the police tried to blame me for. They tried to say that I'm the one that's setting all this up. And if you guys would like to look for yourself, if you guys go to William Glory Hole's YouTube channel and look at the body camera footage, there is irrefutable evidence showing that the police have blatantly made fun of me. The police have blamed me for all this stuff going on. They have basically refused us any form of help at all. They basically refused to stop helping us. And I need anyone's help out there that can please help me put a stop to this corruption. Because I spoke with a very good friend of mine who's a former police officer who said the same thing. That almost over a hundred people that have reached out to me and supporters of mine and fans of my work have said to me that I did not deserve to get arrested. That man came here and harassed my family. When me and my family went down to court today for the pretrial, my public defender blatantly refused to look at the video evidence and the photo evidence of this man on the live stream waving around a semi-automatic rifle, gloating about how he was proud of what he did, how if he couldn't get me on some fake pedophile shit, he was going to get me for assault. And my public defender refused to look at the video footage that I put together over the last three weeks on a USB stick to hand to him. He blatantly told us that he's not going to look at any video evidence but only paper evidence. And that he only wants to focus on the simple assault. He's not worrying about the 
trolling or the bullying or what started all this. That's why I need help from outside states. I need somebody out there who knows a lawyer who is willing to help me and my family because me and my family, we don't have money. We don't have money like that. We can't afford a lawyer. But my family wants a private attorney that is willing to work with us, that is not fake, that will not screw us over, that is not a fake troll, who is willing to work with us to not only put a stop to this case entirely, but to also put a stop to this corruption and what these police are doing. I only have three and a half weeks until my next court date. I need help. My family needs help. This is not a joke. This is not me saying, oh, look at me, play pity party. No. The police here do not like me because a couple years ago, I called them out for not doing their job. Because they were making fun of me. They were harassing me. They didn't take what I was saying serious. So I'm asking anybody out there who knows somebody that might be a lawyer or somebody that has a friend that's a lawyer or someone of that nature to please contact me some way. Like, you guys are more than welcome to contact me on Facebook. And if that person does not have Facebook, you guys can call my number at 234-817-2418. My family needs help. Please, someone help me put a stop to this corruption. Please. My family has been through enough. I've been through enough. My family wants this to stop. My public defender does not have my best interest at heart. I need somebody that has my best interest, that is willing to work with me, and take a look at all the evidence that I can present to show that the cops are not on my side, they do not care about me, that I have been being cyber bullied, I've had assassination attempts on my life, my family has been stolen from, my family has been blamed for stuff that we had nothing to do with. All of this needs to be put to a stop, so please, if anybody out there knows a lawyer that can help my family pro bono, or at least at a reduced rate to where we can pay for it over time, please reach out to me. My family needs the help. And if you guys would like video footage of the police poking fun at me, and stuff like that, message me privately and I will send you guys the footage. I will send you guys the links to where you guys can find the film footage at. I will send you the links to the videos and whatnot. But I need help. My family needs help. I've been cyberbullied for almost five years and this needs to stop. Please, someone help me. I need help before it's too late and I end up going to jail for something I don't need to be going to jail for. I was wrongfully arrested. I was wrongfully arrested and I need help. Please.